Well, my name is Andy Johnson. I'm at Boyan RV in Duluth, Minnesota. Today I'd like to take a little bit of time and show you the new 2012 2500 RBS Tracer. We'll just start right up here. First thing you'll notice is it's got a high gloss finish on it. So it's got a really nice shine, just like a very high-end fifth wheel. Another thing I'd like to point out to you is it's got the slam latch locks. So you've got the big storage under here. That's actually a grill that's provided that goes right on the back. You can see the aluminum framing and there's a light right there. So real nice storage. And let me just show you right here. Another thing is we've got a magnet hold up right here. So you don't have to play with those latches. All you do is put it up. It stays when you pull it down. It's a really nice way to go now when you're done. Slam it and it's locked. Okay, next thing we've got is we've got a nice, really long awning. Covers both doors on this camper. And then you've also got uh, outside speakers right up above. You can take the TV from inside, you can put it right on here, and then you've got your power and your cable right here. One thing I always like to point out on a camper like this is they've spread the tires out wider, so when this tire is in a pothole, this one is not. It's also got the Equiflex suspension down below. And what that's going to do is help your camper have a nicer ride so your contents have a smoother ride. Okay, then we've got the, the door that we'll go into in a few minutes. And then we've got uh, power jacks in the back. Push a button in the front, push a button in the back. This right here is where the grill goes. So you take the grill out, there goes the mic. Put that right on there. You've got a quick connect gas hookup right there. And you're ready to start grilling burgers. Okay, then we've got our spare right here, and it's got a cover. One thing I always like to point out is right up above in the corner here, we've got downspouts. So what happens is when your camper is dripping, uh, the downspouts keep all of the dirt and grime away from your camper to keep it looking clean for you. Here's where your cord pulls out right here. This camper has an enclosed heated underbelly underneath it. Here's the big slide. Here's those aluminum rims again. Give it a classy look. Okay, as we keep coming here, we've got our outside shower right here. So you've got hot and cold water right there. We've got a black tank flush right here. And then your cable and satellite hookups are right there too, and a light in there as well. Here's the back side of that storage we already looked at. There's the slam latches again with the magnetic clip to hold it up. Real nice feature. Okay, now as we come around the front, we've got some real nice features up here. We've got the front cap, just like a fifth wheel. Okay, we've got two 30-pound tanks. Full of propane for you. We put a battery right behind them. We got the power jack right here. Now what we'll do is we'll go inside and show you the interior. Now we're inside. I want to show you one thing over here is uh, Bullion's made a special purchase. And what this did is they, they made an order for this camper before Halloween on the 31st there. And what they got by ordering it then is they, they got the gloss, the high gloss on the outside that you saw, the aluminum rims, the Equiflex suspension, uh, the power jacks up front, and the 8 cubic foot refrigerator and the swing arm grill. So all that is at no cost to you, just because you're our customer. So now the next thing I want to do is show you all the storage right by this door. Right as you come in this door, there's a full pantry. And you could keep clothes in there, you could keep all your pantry items in there, just tons of storage. If stor storage is important to you, one thing I missed is you can take these out and then there's a hanging rod right up above there. Okay, now what we'll do is I'll sneak by you, and I want to just get that bathroom while we're back here. Nice big shower, just like a fifth wheel. Nice medicine cabinet, sink, and then there's plenty of room for tall guys in that shower, and there's plenty of room in front of that toilet for people's knees. So it's a very roomy bathroom. Okay, next what we'll do is we'll look at this kitchen. Okay, you've got your oven right here. They're trying to make use of every space, so right here you've got a nice spot for um, spices, anything small. Nice microwave right here, and then you've got the fan. Plenty of storage. All the way across, it just keeps going, and these are deep. I mean, these are, you know, 20 inches deep, all the way across that top. Nice big sink here. Okay, and this is a solid surface countertop, has a real nice feel to it, and the high-rise faucet's nice. Nice to have a window right outside that sink. 
Okay, now let's get to the storage under here. Tons of storage down here. If you want to bring a waffle maker, anything like that. And then, full extension, metal door glides. Okay, now you've got your couch right here. One little touch that I like, it's got a spot for your can of pop right there. And then this is an awning window, so if it's raining, you can crank that out, leave that open, and still get airflow. Now we've got the big U-shaped booth. Nice thing about this booth, it kind of serves a couple pur purposes. You can sit around it just like the normal U-shape, or you can use this as kind of a, another couch right here. You can sit here, watch TV, part of the whole room right here. Next thing I want to point out to you, right over here, you got lots of storage. You got the DVD player right here, um, and th this, this has got a USB connection right here, and then you've got the CD player. Another thing that's nice is you pull this out. You pull this out and this turns right around for you. So you can watch it in the bedroom or in the living room. Okay, now let's hit that bedroom. Okay, as we come in here, what I want to point out to you is we've got lots of storage on each side with a bar, and then there's storage all the way across the whole top. And then you've got lights above the bed for each side if somebody wants to read. And one thing that's a little unusual about this is usually these, when they fold up, they go to about here. And then you're kind of trying to get underneath it. This one goes way up, so if you put Rubbermaids in here, it really gives you a lot of usable space. Really a nice feature. Well, I hope, this, uh, I hope this presentation helped you on our 2012 Tracer 2500 RBS. If you have any questions on this camper or any of our other inventory here at Bullion RV, just give me, Andy Johnson, a call at 218-391-ANDY. Thanks and have a great day.